Welcome to Storytime with Miss Alicia. Today's story is When I Pray for You by Matthew Paul Turner, illustrated by Kimberly Barnes. When I Pray for You From the moment I saw you, I started to pray. Big prayers and small ones, I have sent God's way. I prayed as I held you when you sat on my lap. I prayed while we rocked as you peacefully napped. As you took your first steps and when you started to run, as I pushed you on the swing sets or we skipped in the sun, I prayed you felt safe, full of joy and content, that when I whispered I love you, you knew what I meant. When you said your first word, repeating what you've heard, when you moved like a cow or tweeted like a bird, when you giggled out loud or made yourself proud, to God I said thank you and to you I said wow. As I watched you pretend all alone or with friends, I prayed over you again and again. Cause when I pray for you, God knows this is true. Every word I whisper is a prayer for me too. At the moment I heard you jump out of bed, I started praying God puts good thoughts in your head. When I pray you're smiling and when you feel sad, I pray when you're sick, embarrassed, or mad. When you're kicking a ball or twirling in place, when I know what you're thinking by the look on your face, I pray that you grow strong, have passion and fight, and stand up for what's good with all of your might. I pray heaven protects you, that you're generous and kind, that your brave little spirit never ceases to shine, that you believe in yourself and follow what's true, that your confidence grows just as fast as you do. As I drive you to school, while you splash in a pool, as you challenge a friend to a lightsaber duel, when you open your eyes to a birthday surprise, when the joy on your face cannot be disguised. I pray you love well, that the light in you swells, that the story God writes is the one that you tell. Cause when I pray for you, I imagine God's view and pray all that God sees comes alive inside of you. When suddenly it seems you've gotten so tall, when you've grown up so much that my lap's way too small, when you've glued to a screen and your bedroom's unclean, when you're no longer a child but not yet a teen. I'll pray when you're hyper, obnoxious, or chill. I'll pray when you're chatty and cannot sit still. When you're running relays or performing school plays, or you're somewhere in the middle of a garage band phase. When you know all the answers, or just think that you do, when you find out the hard way, you know less than you do. I'll pray you choose hope should you ever face fear and seek wisdom with patience when the pathway's unclear. That you'll love others, whether strangers or friends, with the same kind of love that God feels for them. When you break from your shell to stand up for yourself and I realize you didn't ask me for my help, I'll pray and I'll cheer, I'll probably shed a tear, and hope that you know if you need me, I'm here. Because when I pray for you, no matter what we go through, the dreams that you dream, I'll be dreaming them too. At the moment you realize it's time to explore, I'll pray God gives you wings and like an eagle, you'll soar. I'll pray wherever you go, wherever you land, you'll find a purpose and meaning and a role in God's plan that you'll know who you are and like what you do and love yourself fully as God wants you to. I'll pray you'll keep shining, that God keeps refining, that your story reflects in you God's designing, that you'll give and you'll share with compassion and care, and that's how you'll live life well, to God be a prayer. 
because when I pray for you, I pray that all you do brings love and brings light and helps the world shine like new. The end. So my question for you guys today is, what would you pray for today? I know my friends in the twos with Miss Emily every single day, they have a prayer time during their circle time where they ask for something that they want to pray about. So that is my question for you guys today. Bye, sunshines.